What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are taking our second look at Garuda with a little bit of a different list. It's a Sultai list, not a Bant one. Uh, initially we did run a Bant list uh, and I actually thought it was really, really good, but uh, this kind of incorporates a new piece to the combo. Uh, and you'll notice uh, very, very efficiently looking at a 61 card list. Uh, we are, uh, this is a pulled list, I will say. Uh, and so I did not create this one. There's a couple little interesting pieces to all of this. Uh, but I think that this this deck is pretty much set in stone. I don't think that there's too much in terms of flex slots that you should have. Uh, that being said, I'm sure, you know, there's different versions of this list out there. But I don't think that there's too many uh, variations. So let's kind of run through it. Obviously, the main card here is Garuda Doom of Depths. Uh, a card that we're seeing kind of take over standard a little bit. Uh, it's very, very powerful. So when it enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their deck into their graveyard. And then you can pull a card with an even converted mana cost from either graveyard and put it onto the battlefield under your control. So we do have this set as our companion, and then of course three more in the, in the main here. And the idea is to essentially copy this as many times as possible get our deck down extraordinarily low, and then win off of playing a Thassa's Oracle. Uh, now, the alternate way to win is obviously just to swing in for a lot of damage on the following turn, uh, but the more efficient way is definitely Thassa's Oracle. So uh, the Oracle, when, when it enters the battlefield, uh, you look at the top X cards of your deck where X is your devotion to blue. You pick one, you leave it on top, the others go to the bottom, but if X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your deck, you immediately win the game. Uh, assuming we have milled ourselves quite a bit with Garuda, uh, this is essentially an auto win for us. Now, uh, the ways that we get up to our mana are with Leafkin Druid as well as Paradise Druid. Uh, Paradise Druid, very, very strong because it does have Hexproof, uh, and so you can kind of hold off on using it until you play your Garuda. Uh, Leafkin Druid just kind of sits in blocks pretty well. Uh, it can be targeted and everything like that, but it does a, a fairly good job of, of sticking around. Uh, as far as other two drops here, we do have a couple Fibblethip as ways to draw cards. Uh, I actually really like this card. It's a, it's a pretty fun one. Uh, we also have Wishclaw Talisman as a two of, which I think is a very interesting card, but it kind of makes sense in this deck. So, uh, again, the idea is to kind of copy and do all these crazy things. Well, what if you don't have the right card? Uh, what if you don't have the, uh, the Oracle here? Wishclaw Talisman helps you get there, uh, and because you're winning kind of on the spot, uh, it doesn't really matter uh, that you're giving this to your opponent. Uh, Read the Bones also a great way to make sure that we get the Thassa's Oracle out if we mill it, but we don't end up getting it uh, at the right time. We can Blood for Bones and, and pull it out that way. Uh, Binding of the Titans, a way to get stuff in the yard, of course, but uh, also gain ourselves a little bit of life and then keep things moving forward. Uh, we do return a creature or a land card to our hands, so if we're really hurting for lands, we can certainly pull that out. If not, uh, ideally we can get a Thassa's Oracle with that as well. Uh, the way that we keep copying this is with Spark Doubles. Uh, Spark Double, we've got a four of here. Comes in, copies Garuda, we get another trigger off of it. Thassa kind of does a very similar thing where we just kind of bounce the Garuda, and then we can actually combo off at the end of the turn uh, if we kind of miss it during our main phases. Uh, so that's actually quite good for us. Nightmare Shepherd is a very, very cool include in this list. Uh, this is actually the card that made me want to play this version. Uh, and the reason being, you know, say this guy dies. Uh, it doesn't matter. You get a copy of it. Uh, say you, you know, put a Garuda out on top of already having a Garuda out and you have to sacrifice to the legend rule. It doesn't matter. You still get another activation. So you can really, really churn through your deck if, if you've got the Nightmare Shepherd out. And what's nice about, again, having Thassa and Nightmare Shepherd is, say you, you know, you combo off, you get a lot, a lot of the way through your deck, but you really don't get, you know, a Spark Double or another Garuda. If you get Nightmare Shepherd, it's kind of fine uh, because you get to copy, you know, at the end of the turn, you bounce a Garuda. If you have to copy another one, this just keeps you going. Uh, so very, very strong. And then again, Blood for Bones here. Uh, as far as lands go, we've got seven, three, and one. Uh, so seven islands, three forests, one swamp. 
uh, three watery grave, three overgrown tomb, and three breeding pool, and then the full four fable passage. Uh, it's okay if we get some tapped lands in this list. Uh, one and three are very particular turns where we don't do anything because we do have to have all even converted mana costs. Uh, a lot of times we're looking to ramp right ahead to turn four though. So let's see how this deck does. Uh, I've been enjoying it. I have um, kind of tested it out just a little bit. I think I played like two games with it. Uh, one of both, which felt great. I I really like the feel of this one. I think it's better than the Bant version, uh, to be brutally honest. And I think it's just because it has that potential to literally win on the spot. Uh, whereas that one, you know, while very powerful, doesn't necessarily win on the spot. We are going to keep this. We have the uh, Paradise Druid here and then Binding if we need it. So let's try it. This card, I've, I've had a difficult time figuring out exactly how to play it, uh, which kind of sounds funny. Um... Like, I just don't know. I mean, I assume we play it out as early as possible and then use it when we need to, but it's just kind of a silly one. Uh, I don't know. Um, we'll we'll try and figure that one out. Here, we're going to take the damage. Not interested in uh, sacrificing too much here. Okay, so here, let's do this first. Mill a few things. Uh, hmm. I don't love this because we do tap this, uh, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Um, this may be the incorrect play. I think what would have been a better play is not play these two and instead play instead play Thassa, so we could bounce this at the end of the turn, and then just immediately uh, get it back. Here we're leaving ourselves open to you know claim the first born or something along those lines, which. Is very likely from this deck, so. Uh, let's get you and you. Gain a couple life here, which is helpful. Uh, play this. We'll get Thassa down. Um, and it looks like we're going to pass here. Um, we'll bounce this, doesn't really matter. Uh, so we do just have to live this turn, and then we kind of hopefully get there. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but we'll we'll certainly try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> what did they get? Two lands, huh? Uh, no blocks. So, oh, whoops. Okay, well, that actually worked out. Um, I guess we'll get this. It doesn't really matter too much. Play this, and let's give it a shot. Okay, we got another Garuda. So, let's get you out. We'll keep the original. Got another Garuda. Uh, and this is what this deck is looking to do. Now, I don't know. We still may very well not win this game, uh, just based on, you know, what all's here. Uh, I don't think we actually hit much in our graveyard, no. So, let's Croxa here. Um, so now at the end of the turn, we get to bounce this and do it again. Uh, and hopefully this time we'll, we'll get all the stuff we need, but... Spark Double, fantastic. We do want the Spark Double over the other Garuda, so we get at least multiple creatures out here. Um, this time, though, I don't think we got what we needed, so uh, we'll draw a card. And I think we just lose here, um, unfortunately, because we can't take the hit here. Uh, I guess we can block that, that, that. So we might live. Might is a very strong word. Um, unfortunately, this deck is just super fast, so we just have to be, you know, very cognizant of that. Okay. So, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, and we can do this. We just can't kill this, is the problem. Now, if they have a way to sacrifice it, we're in big trouble. Uh, because they just literally kill us with that, or if they just have, like, a shock. <laughs> A shock would certainly do it. Um, looks like they don't, so we may get another turn here. Okay. Um, well, here's the thing. Okay, so 
Thassa's Oracle Garuda. So we can spark double here and try and go for that. Um, and we have to leave up double. Well, yeah, let's uh, let's try it here. Okay, there is a Thassa's Oracle, uh, which we will get here. Uh, card to put on top. Hmm. I think we'll take the other Thassa's Oracle. Do we? We don't quite get there though. Um. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Okay, now. Can we hold off another turn? No attacks. Let's do this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not quite enough. Let's go ahead and do another Garuda here. Um, this is where you just kind of have to count. Um, yeah, uh, here actually we can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still not quite, so let's go ahead and do it again. And we'll just get a Paradise Druid here. Okay, so we do have the win in hand if we can make it work, but uh, this is a very big if. Oh, well, they can just win here. Ugh. Dang, we were actually really, really close. So as you can see, this deck requires a little bit of finesse, uh, and we actually managed to hold ourselves off pretty well against that deck, but did not quite get there. So let's go ahead and jump into game two. Uh, we'll do the normal three games here. Uh, also, just a quick heads up. This is the last day uh, to pick up the proxies for the month of April. Uh, so if you are if you're not currently signed up but would like to be, please check out our Patreon. The link is just below the gameplay there. Uh, you can check it out. Feel free. You don't have to support by any means. I, I certainly never want to encourage somebody to support if they don't feel they can. Uh, so don't feel like you have to. But uh, if you if you want those proxies, that's the way to get them. Um, it's also just a way for us to kind of give back to you guys for actually supporting what we do. Um, obviously, that means a lot. So uh, yeah, let's get you out. Um, all right. So we're just kind of looking to ramp into Garuda and hoping that it works. Um, Go ahead and play Paradise Druid into, you know, a potential quench. It looks like this is uh, Demir Flash, just a guess, but no, it is not Demir Flash. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, so let's get you out. And we'll just go ahead and get this Talisman out here. Um, Talisman's interesting, but again, I think it's the right thing to do here. We could have gotten Oracle out, but I don't actually think we needed to there. Not going to block. Uh, next turn, we do have Garuda if we don't lose any of our creatures. So, we'll see. Um, don't know what this deck is exactly. It looks like just kind of a reanimate deck. Um, could just be Demir reanimate. Sure. Uh, I mean, they're not playing a removal spell, which is good for us. Agent of Treachery. Okay, so definitely a, a deck to contend with here. Um, but we're going to go for it here. Wow, nothing, huh? We straight up just missed on Garuda on both decks. That really feels bad. Um... Not going to block. Actually, might have been tempted to, but uh, with the Nightmare Shepherd, I think we, we need to keep it on the field. We also have just Spark Double into another Garuda. So here they get to Agent of Treachery. I'm assuming Garuda. In which case, we probably should have blocked there, but, you know, we obviously didn't know. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's 
is only creatures we control, so unfortunately we can't do this. Uh, let's throw this out there. And let's throw this out there. Kind of just want a critical mass here a little bit. Um, and then next turn, I think we're going to try and scry for a Garuda. Wow, very good. Yeah. Very, very good. This is a cool deck. Uh, Demir reanimate steel stuff. So now that no longer works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it, yeah. All right. Well, kind of just hope we draw Garuda. <laughs> At this point, we can wish, but um, it's not gonna. We're not gonna have enough mana to do it. So unfortunately, we're we're on the hoping plan, um, with the big assumption that depending on what we draw here, we pretty much lose. So yeah, that's not gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and concede here, guys. Unfortunately, man, we just got very unlucky on that Garuda not hitting anything. Um, Normally we at least hit something, whether it's on the opponent's side or not, we usually hit something. So let's uh, let's jump into game three. Unfortunately, not getting a good showing out of this Garuda deck, but uh, I do think what I will say is I do think that this deck is extraordinarily powerful, um, and we've seen that. I mean, if you play any amount of standard ranked right now, that's pretty normal to see uh, some Garuda decks out there. But uh, the Luris Sacrifice deck in particular has been a bit of a problematic deck. Um, I don't think we can keep that. Uh, we will keep this. And we will put, I think, Binding on the bottom. Um, we have seen that deck do very, very well. And this deck can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. But it is very much a, like, if you... It's, you, you pretty much have a turn to really make it work. Um, so it's a little tricky, is what I will say. Uh, next turn, we can Paradise Druid and Thassa's Oracle, or we can just Thassa. Um, given that we drew that, what do we want to do? I kind of think we want to ramp out as quick as possible. So I'm actually just going to play the Paradise Druid. And then next turn, we immediately have Garuda ready to go. Uh, these are also because they do have hexproof. I don't want to tap them. Um, just given that I don't truly know what the opponent is on here. Um, Abzan mid range, I'm guessing. But okay, so let's get Ruta. Got a fibble tip, huh? It's not very exciting. Um, but yeah, we get a fibble tip. Okay, that's not the worst draw in the world, actually. Um, assuming they don't wipe the board, which these Abzan mid-range decks can very easily do. Um, they rebuild very, very quickly, which is cool. Uh, if you didn't see, by the way, the Eerie Ultimatum deck, uh, this the, the mid-range potential out of that deck was insane. Uh, you should 100% check that out. We, we played that, I think, just a couple days ago. Um, it was so fun. Such a fun list. It's cool to make big, big cards like that work, because not always do they, you know what I'm saying? But if they do, man, they are cool. Sure. Makes sense. I mean, we, I assume, saw that coming. Um, let's Thassa. We'll play our land. Uh, let's see. Let's Oracle here um, and just see if we can get something off the top. Ugh, not great, not great. We'll put that on top, though it's really not amazing for us. Um, no attacks. I kind of think let's just bounce the Oracle. Um, if we can get something better than Herald, I will. Uh, that's better than Herald. Alright, that just makes sure that we can get a Garuda out if we don't, you know, if we don't lose this top card, we can uh, reanimate Garuda and kind of go for it again. 
I do really like the synergies in this deck. There's some really cool, you know, built-in kind of tech, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, Light of Hope, huh? That's a beautiful card. Absolutely. Interesting that it's a main decked card, but I guess it makes sense in this list. Sure. It's pretty good. Um... I don't really care about this right now. And we'll ditch fiddle tip, I think. Liliana, pretty awesome for sure. Uh let's do this. Let's sack you. Let's go ahead and do this and put uh, I guess we'll put Fibble Tip in our hand. I don't really think it's going to matter too much, so... Good, good. Uh, okay, so we did get a Spark Double. Let's go Spark Double it. Nothing, huh? Um, okay, well... Let's attack that. And let's attack you. <clears throat> now we do, again, what's cool about this is we get to bounce again. Wow, still nothing. Um, what is this deck, by the way? Is it just like mid-range okay stuff? They do have Kaya's Wrath. I mean, they can sweep. <clears throat> Seems pretty good. Uh, ah, uh, speaking of Eerie Ultimatum. Wow, look at that. Um, yeah. Is this all that great, though? How many permanents do they actually have? I mean, they get a butt ton of land. Like, holy crap. And they'll draw three. They get a Plague Crafter, so we'll have to kill something. But I think we just kill our Gerudo. Like, that's fine. We've got multi Well, we've got more than one, so... Kaya's Wrath. It's gonna kill Pasa's Oracle? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a nice value deck. I don't think this is... I mean, against like a mono red list, for instance, this just straight up dies. Um, that being said, we kind of straight up die sometimes against that, so I'm not... Can't be too upset, but... Yep. Oh, I guess now they sack two creatures, so we each sack creatures, and then... Uh... We no longer have Garuda to copy. I mean, that's pretty good. Or not. Can they just kill this then? Yes. Okay. I was going to say, if they can't kill that, that was 100% the wrong play. Uh, spark double, very bad here. Uh, let's fibble tip. Might as well draw a card. Oracle. It's a creature. Let's play it out. Um... I mean, that's a, that's a card. Uh, I'm just going to do this and draw the Garuda here. That's a cool little interaction, by the way. Um, the problem is here now, we, we only have five lands, so we do have to get a land off the top, which is why I did not just bounce Thassa's Oracle or anything like that. I figure, you know, that's better. Um, but we are in a bit of a pickle. Unfortunately, not a great showing so far from this list. Um, and I will say I'm not entirely confident. Uh, I mean, there have been misplays, I'm sure. I don't know that any of the misplays that I've made that I have recognized at the very least have been game changing. I think, um, you know, we could have played like there was the game where we played uh, the Binding of the Titans and the Wishing thing instead of Thassa. Um, maybe that was incorrect, I don't know, but that was just what we did, so I I don't know for sure, uh, to be honest. This looks like a fun new toy. Yep. So we have to sacrifice Thassa here. Whoops. Uh, 
Okay, well, we get one last shot at it then. Um, this is kind of the last shot though, for sure. Oh, man, we are just not getting lucky, guys. Um, yeah. I mean, that's game. I'm going to go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, they just have it. Wow. Bad, bad showing, unfortunately, guys. Hopefully, you still enjoyed the video. Uh, this is a very, very fun deck to play, and we are going to give it another shot because I do think um, this has has a lot of good potential in standard. So, uh, hopefully, we will get a, uh, a few better games in the next video. Regardless, I do think uh, it was fun. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Thank you, as always, for the support lately. It has been amazing. Uh, make sure you enter our Akoria giveaway if you're not already. Uh, we're giving away a free bundle, so uh, if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, comment on any video, it can be any single video, uh, with hashtag Akoria giveaway. Uh, you can only enter once, so you don't have to do it multiple times, but if you just want to watch all the videos, by all means, uh, we'd appreciate it. So thank you guys so much uh, for, for taking part with us, and uh, I'll see you very soon in the next gameplay video.